Hey guys, in this video, we are going to talk about clutter-free stocking stuffer ideas for your family. I have a newfound excitement about the stockings this year because for the first time since we have had children, we are all going to have stockings. So I'm pretty excited to be able to have actual stockings for everyone this year and be able to actually put them out with the other Christmas stuff. So I wanted to share with you some easy and clutter-free stocking stuffer ideas because often stockings can end up being stuffed with mainly junk or candy. And there are a lot of really fun ways that you can use the stockings to enhance the Christmas presents and enhance their hobbies that the kids already have without just adding more stuff to your house and without feeling like you just have to keep picking up after the stockings for days, weeks, and months after Christmas. I also prefer not to give my children candy, so there went another cheap and easy option for us. And even if you do wanna give your kids candy, you don't want to give them too much, right? Because otherwise they will just eat it all and make themselves sick. So in this video, you will find some ideas for other things that you can get your kids without just hitting the dollar store and calling it good. If you're new to my channel, I'm Cassie with makingtimeforgiggles.com and I make videos all about how to simplify your life so you can get an extra seven hours in your week. If that sounds like something you would be into, please subscribe down below and ring the bell next to it because I would love to see you on the next one. The first clutter-free idea I have for you is bubbles. Bubbles appeal to so many different ages of children, starting when they're about one and probably going up to five, six, seven years old, depending on the child. I love bubbles for a couple of reasons. One, they are super cheap. You can get these at the dollar store. I know I said we were going to avoid the dollar store with this list, but this one you can get at the dollar store and you might as well because it's basically just soap, right? And the second reason that I love bubbles is it is consumable. It's not something that you are going to be tripping over for a long time to come. It's something that will generally be used once, twice, maybe three or four times if your child is really careful about not spilling it, and then it is done. So I really like things like that for their stockings, things that are inexpensive, but also consumable. I also love consumables for regular presents too, but for the stockings especially, I really try to look for things that aren't just going to be knickknacks laying around. The next thing that I have for you is just like the bubbles, it is very inexpensive and also consumable, and that is gum. Our girls love getting gum in their stocking every year. They love having it so that it is just theirs. They don't have to share it with anybody else. They can if they want to. And they also love basically being able to have it whenever they want. The next idea that I have for you is something that's a little bit more of a treat. We always like to put something a little bit sweet in their stocking because my husband and I have fond memories of getting candy in our stocking, but we try not to do refined sugar with them. This used to be Trader Joe's sold these awesome little candies called Honey Mints and they were only sweetened with honey. I would actually keep them around all year long so that if we were someplace and other kids were getting candy, I would give one of these to my kids so they wouldn't feel left out. And at Christmas time, they would each get a full bag that was just theirs. But Trader Joe's sadly has let me down. I cannot find these things anywhere anymore. I think it's been about a year or more that they have been out of them now. And I'm very bummed about that because they were the best. But what I plan on doing this year is getting some honey sticks. The girls also love having those. They're a small treat. They're a good little thing for if we're running out of the house and they need a quick snack before swim team or something like that, they can have a honey stick. So I will probably get them each a little pack of honey sticks that they can each have in their stockings. Something else that you could add that is consumable, but not just junk food, is little packages of nuts. Our kids really enjoy eating nuts as snacks and they like just having a little package of something that they don't have to share. So you can get little almonds, cashews, you can get all kinds of flavors of the nuts. And it's fun to put one of those in each of their stockings as well. Another fun thing that you can add to your kids' stockings, especially as they get a little bit older, is body care items. And I have a few different examples here for you. The first is body butter, which is basically like a thicker, more moisturizing lotion. Another idea is bath salt. Another fun thing is soaps. My girls especially love having their own whatever it is. So getting them their own soap that is just for them is something that is special for them to do. 
And sugar scrubs can be another really fun thing along this line. Something that we typically do for our kids every year is get them each a bath bomb in their stockings. And they have a lot of fun with this. I get them at a place called Lush. And Lush, all of their products, I think it's all of their products, but I'm pretty sure their bath bombs at least are all food grade. So they use food grade dyes and things like that. So it's safe for kids and they're really fun. They turn the bath all kinds of colors and it just makes it a little bit special. Another fun body care item to add to a stocking is chapstick. Again, it's very inexpensive and it's consumable, so it's a great item to add and it won't just be clutter around your house after the holidays. Another idea for your stockings is gloves and hats. Obviously, they'll be using those a lot in the winter, so it's a good time to check your stash and make sure everyone has some that fit them and see if they need any for the coming season. Another good thing to add to stockings is undergarments. You can do anything from what we did, which is a full on long underwear set. We use these all the time when we are skiing and our middle one actually needed a couple new sets. So she will be getting these in her stocking this year. And things like this are really great. We get these at Costco, they're super inexpensive. I think they were $7 for a top and bottom set and they wear them all the time, even when we aren't skiing. They will take them to swim team and wear them home because they're nice and warm. So if your kids get cold a lot, something like this can be a really fun thing to add in, or not necessarily fun, but practical thing to add into their stocking. Or if your kids need new socks, you can always put socks in their stocking. And if they don't need new socks, but they enjoy things like slipper socks or slippers, that can be another great addition to the stocking as well. Something that we did when our oldest was probably two or maybe 18 months old is we gave her a little set of silverware. It's just like the big silverware, but smaller and she's able to handle it, but it doesn't look like baby silverware. And she and both of the other two kids now have really enjoyed the silverware set. It made them feel very big and it was something that was really special, but yet also very simple and practical. And the last idea that I have for you is kind of a category idea again, and you can fill it in with whatever would work for your family, but it is adding to a toy or hobby that they already like. Kind of like we have talked about with the toys, but just on a smaller scale. So one way that we are doing this this year is our girls are on swim team and they need things like swim caps. So I actually let them pick out a few different swim caps that they liked because they care about which colors they wear even if it's just a swim cap for swim team. And I wanted them to actually use the ones that we would be getting. So I let them each pick a couple out. This one is actually pretty fun. It's got popsicles and flowers and all kinds of stuff on here and we will be putting these in their stockings for Christmas. So they know they're coming, and when I ordered them, they actually needed some to use at the time, so I let them choose one that they could use right away, and then choose one that they would be getting a little bit later. Now, maybe your kids aren't into swim team, but I'm sure whatever sport they are into has something that would be small enough to fit into a stocking. I don't know all of the sports, but I know for soccer, you need soccer socks. That's something that could go into a stocking. Um, I had some cousins that played football and I know they were always needing mouth guards. They were always losing their mouth guards and the laundry and things like that. So you could always get them another set of mouth guards. I'm um, trying to think of some other sports, some things that you could put in their stocking. If your kids play sports and you have some other ideas that could fit in this category for the sports, put those in the comments down below. I'm sure other parents would love to see that. Now, maybe your kids aren't into sports at all, but maybe they're into music. Something that would be great for their stocking in that case, if they have an instrument that needs to be tuned, is a tuner or maybe a metronome. There are so many different ways that you can go. If your child has something that they're already passionate about, find something that relates to that that is small enough to go into a stocking. And if it's not quite small enough to go inside the stocking, you can always just put it behind the stocking or have it next to the stocking. I remember my parents doing things like that all the time. And I believe one year for Christmas, my mom actually got my sister and I some music. It was just a sheet of music that she thought each of us would enjoy. And she just put it behind our stocking. And that was one of our gifts. So 
you can do all kinds of things with this. Don't feel like something has to fit into the stocking or just be candy or, you know, just be kind of knickknacks. It can be things that are practical that they will use all the time. Now, another idea with this is kind of like we talked about with the gifts. If you have a child who is really into tools or things in the garage, you could always get them a really nice screwdriver or hammer or things like that could also fit very well into a stocking. I know most of my stuff, most of my ideas that I have here are for girls just because my girls are older. So if you have boys and you have other good ideas for boys, please put those in the comments down below as well because I'm sure other people would love to see that. I do remember, I, I haven't seen them in quite a while, but they used to have these, I think they were called nano bricks and they were like Legos, but smaller. You could get small sets of them and something like that would be a really good stocking stuffer as well or even just a small set of Legos. So those are the clutter-free stocking stuffer ideas that I have for you today. If you have any other ideas, please leave those in the comments down below. I always love reading your comments and I know other people would love those ideas as well. As always, I'm Cassie with makingtimeforgiggles.com and I would love to help you get seven extra hours in your week. So be sure to subscribe down below if that's something you would be into and I will see you on the next video.